How's it going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to talk about short circuit evaluation in JavaScript. So it's easy to explain with an example. So if we define a new constant called result equal to 0 or 40. Now this syntax right here is called short circuit evaluation and the value of result is equal to 40 in this case right here. That's because the way it works is it checks if this value is falsy. If it is, then it goes to this value. If that value is falsy, it goes to the next one. But in this case here, 40 is not falsy, so the value of result is 40. So if we just log out um, the result here, if we actually, hold on, if we just, um, if we just log out result and then save this to refresh the browser, we get 40. So it's saying basically, this is considered to be falsy, so there's no value to it. And this is considered to be truthy, so there is a value to this, therefore, 40 is the result. If we go ahead and put 60 here, we still get 40 because it goes in order. It goes 0 if it's falsy, skip it, 40, not falsy, boom, that's the one. So it cuts off that right there. We can of course then have uh, things such as a string in here, that is not falsy. However, an empty string is now falsy. So we're saying false, false, not false. Now that is now equal to 60. Let's refresh and we get 60. Now we can also use this with functions. So if we define a new function up here, we'll just call this function decode and this will then return with a similar syntax. For example, 0 or 20. We can now, let's get rid of my phone. Alright, we can now log out a decode now if we refresh now, we get 20. So it's the same sort of syntax. Now what if both of these are falsy? For example, what if we have 0 and then null? So 0 and null are both falsy, they're both false, so how does it work now? We can refresh and we get null. So we get the last value that was checked. So it goes in order. And that is how you can use short circuit evaluation in JavaScript. Thank you for watching and see you later.